Math is a wonderful thing. Math is a really cool thing. Alright guys, we are now in Unit 8. For the first part of this unit, our objectives will be to verify and apply the Pythagorean Theorem. So this is a right triangle. We call it the right triangle because it contains a right angle. So this is the right angle. Now across the right angle, we call this side of your triangle your hypotenuse. And we usually label this side as side C. Legs will be this side and this side. Note that the sides containing the right angle will be the legs of your right triangle. So the sides containing the right angle will be your legs. We usually label legs as leg A and leg B. We can say this is your leg A, we can say this is your, this is your leg B, or we can interchange the, the name. This can be your A, this can be your leg B. Alright, so this is a right triangle. And what is the measure of the hypotenuse? Remember that hypotenuse is the um, side um, across the right angle. So the hypotenuse will be this side. And the measure is 15 units. Alright, which of the following segments is a hypotenuse? So again, look at your right angle. The side across the right angle will be your hypotenuse. So we can have either the XZ, the line segment XZ, or the line segment YZ. Okay, now in this case, we only have the line segment XZ, so this will be your answer. Which of the following segments is a hypotenuse? Again, look at your right angle. The side across this right angle will be your hypotenuse. So in this case, this will be our hypotenuse. should be segment XY. Identify the measurement of the two legs of the right triangle below. So two legs, this will be the um, sides containing the right angle. So we'll have, will be your leg, and then the other one will be this one. Okay, so the measurement will be 10 and 24. Okay, measurement for the two legs, again, the sides containing the right angle will be your leg. So we can have the 5 and then the 12. If we would like to find the measurement of your hypotenuse, it will be this side, which is 13. All right, measurement for the legs will be 12 and 9. And then for the hypotenuse, the measurement will be 15. For this right triangle, the names of the sides will be uh, segment XZ and segment XY. Remember that will be size of the triangle that contain the right angle and then for the hypotenuse it will be your segment YZ name of the size of the right triangles so again size will be QR and side PR and the hypotenuse will be your side PQ Identify the measurement of the two legs of the right triangle below. Again, the measurement for the two legs, identify the legs first. This will be one of the legs, and another leg, so it will be 3 and 4. And then for the hypotenuse, it will be 5. Now, we have a relationship between the legs and the hypotenuse. If we are going to square the legs, the measurement of the legs, so 3 squared and 4 squared, and add them together, you will be able to get the same number when you square the side which is the hypotenuse. So squaring your uh, legs, 3 squared plus 4 squared, adding them up, it will be equal to the square of the third side we call hypotenuse. Now let's check. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 
add these two up, it will be equal to 25, which is equal to 5 squared. And it is. It is true for any right triangle. So in this case, my legs will be, the measurement for the legs will be 6 and 8. If you sum the square, 6 squared, if you sum the, uh, if you sum the square of the legs, 6 squared plus 8 squared, it will be equal to the square of your of the measurement of your hypotenuse. So in this case, 6 squared is 36, 8, squ 8 squared is 64, add this two up, it will be equal to the square of your hypotenuse. So in general, your Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equal to c squared. That is, if you're going to sum the square of the two legs of the right triangle, it will be equal to the square of the hypotenuse. All right, let's try to verify this one. So 4 squared plus 3 squared, is it equal to 5 squared? Yes, it is. This is 16. This is 9 equal to 25. So here is the geometric interpretation of our Pythagorean theorem. If we are going to square leg 4, which is 4 squared, this is equal to 16. It means that the 16 here is equal to the number of squares that we have here. So if we count all the squares, we have here 16 squares. Now if we are going to square the other leg, 3 squared, which is equal to 9, that is actually the number of squares that we have on this side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you add this 2, it will be equal to the square of the measurement of your hypotenuse, which is 5 squared, which is 25. So the 5 squared here means that we have 25 squares here. If you count all the squares, it will be equal to 25. So that's the geometric meaning of your Pythagorean theorem. All right, let's try to identify if the given set of measurements are lengths of sides of a right triangle. So to verify this, we are going to use the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The biggest number will always be the measurement of your hypotenuse, and then this will be your a and b, the legs. So when you square, The legs it will be 64 plus 36 is it equal to 144 the square of 12 so let's add 64 and 36 it is equal to 100 which is not equal to 144 so it means that um, this sides does not represent a right triangle all right 8 6 12 are not lengths of the sides of a right triangle we are going to say that the lengths of the sides will be for the right triangle if we satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. All right, second example, 5, 12, and 13. We can say this will be our legs and this will be our hypotenuse. Adding the square of the two legs, 5 squared plus 12 squared, is it equal to 13 squared? 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144, um, 13 squared is 169. Is it equal to 25 plus 144? Well, when you add 25 and 144, it is equal to 169, equal to our hypotenuse squared. So since the left side is equal to the right side, we are going to say that the sides 5, 12, and 13 are lengths of the sides of a right triangle. Now, if the sides are sides of a right triangle, we will call these three numbers Pythagorean triples. All right, for this next example, I need you to so I need you to pause the video and solve this given problem. The answer that you have to get should be yes, 9, 12, and 15 should be a Pythagorean triples, meaning this length will be sides of a right triangle. All right, that's for our unit first part of our unit 8. Um, go ahead and watch the next video. Math is a wonderful thing. Math is a really cool thing.